Welcome once again to the Massive Darkness Massive Unboxing. I told you it was going to be a long one. Get back here this instant! Oh, Thank you. Oh, I love you too. Nick. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I am back. As you can see, total new wardrobe change because this is the... I'm actually recording this over three days because I started recording, missed a day, and now here I am again. It's started recording on Saturday, it's now Monday. This is the first ever time that it's taking me two sit-downs to record one boxing. Well, this is massive darkness, so I guess it's going to be a massive unboxing. So, uh, got the, just ate some, something spicy now. My nose is all... Leaky. Uh, I know it sounds gross, but whatever. Let's let's just get to this. All right. We have not finished opening the first big brown box of stuff, so let's continue with this. Let's see what we got here. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the Darkbringer pack. Right. That fell on my fell on my knife. It didn't have the same like thunk. Come on, I can hear the thunk. There it is. All right. So let's crack her open. And now, interesting thing. Here's the thing. I told you I was looking forward to playing this. And I wanted to play it the night I stopped recording, but I didn't. And the reason I didn't record the next day is because I had a playthrough for another game, so I needed to use this table for that. So what I did uh, while I was waiting for you know people to show up so I can record, Jess and Chris helped me record the playthrough of the other game, which wasn't this, it wasn't Mass of Darkness. Um, it was for uh, a Kickstarter that's coming up for something else. Anyways, that... Uh, during that time, I set, set up Massive Darkness upstairs on our game topper that uh, is now going to be a permanent part of our uh, dining room, which is excellent. I really want to get one of those uh, game topper, oh, I forgot what they're called, they're like the, the slats that go over the table so your game could stay underneath and then you could eat on top or play another game on top, which is more likely what we're going to do. Alright, let's open this up. now. And this is another thing I've never done before. I am more knowledgeable about this game now than I was when I first started opening it because I started playing level one. I skipped the tutorial level because I was like, me and Brett have played enough um, zombie side that we could probably just jump into level one. And, uh, and well, actually I set the game up for four people, but our recording of that other project took a little late. So Jess had to leave early. Uh, Baby would stop crying. So uh, Brittany couldn't join us. Um, Chris got sleepy, so he can play with me either. I was by myself, and I decided I'll just wait. So the next morning, me and Brittany played where we could. We're not still on first, first level, because baby Xavier, Xavier is, um, I'm going to be honest, giving us a hard time. Giving us a bit of a hard time. Anyways. <laughs> uh, so baby Xavier's been having a hard time sleeping, so we haven't had a lot of time to play. So we play in like 15 minutes increments. I'm still learning how to play. And uh, I'm, I'm digging it so far. We're not past the first level. I'm playing as the Ranger, and Brittany's playing as the Rogue. Let's listen. All right, all right, not bad, not bad. I like that. I give it a, I'm gonna give that a four, a four. It wasn't as good as the main box, as far as I remember. It's been a few days now. Um, but yeah, so we've been playing, uh, we started playing level one, and it's just me and Brittany, and uh, I'm, I'm digging it. She wanted to play as the magic person, but since I already had the rogue set up in front of her, I was, I, I chose them randomly, I talked her into using the rogue. And the good thing about it, since it's not really a campaign, you could play it, like, in order, but your guys always reset, so uh, we're just going to switch characters every time, see what we want to play. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, so we got the dark point in your pack, looks like... Just a bunch of bad guys. I'm, I'm good with that. If this is just a bunch of bad guys, I'm adding this right away to the. I can just add this to the core. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Okay, let's get into here. So here's here's the funny thing. I um, I decided, the day I recorded this unboxing, when I started, I don't know if you remember, I was drinking a Red Bull, a rather large Red Bull, and I had a diet uh, Pepsi. Uh, and it was already getting late at night, and I did that so I could stay up to play, 
you know, play a safe record and then stay up and play Master Darkness, but that didn't work out. So I went to bed and I ended up staying up till like five in the morning because I could not go to sleep. So I just read comics and I decided to read the rules for Master Darkness. But one second, since I, um, I didn't want to wake up the baby because I was reading in the bedroom, um, I, I, I decided I'll download the PDF because the PDF, you see, uh, I could read it on my iPad and it's lit, so I don't have to have lights on to read it where the book I would. And our lamp is rather bright, lights up the entire room. So uh, I decided PDF. Now the PDF said work in progress. Now I've read work in progress uh, rule books on Simon, Simon's website before and uh, they were fine. I think, it wasn't, I think the only thing that was different was like the art wasn't up to date, but that was no big deal. This one, the Massive Darkness PDF, the work in progress, a lot has changed. So I have a whole bunch of wrong rules in my head. And the next day when I started noticing and started reading through the actual paper one, and I had to relearn it. Um, and now I've got a mix of wrong rules and right rules. Quite a few things changed. I'm not gonna bring them up because now it's gonna get stuck in my head again. Let's just focus on what we have here, I'm sorry. All right, so it looks like we got some more, I'm guessing these are bosses. I haven't played a boss yet, so I don't exactly know how they work. Let's check this art. Looks cool, I like that. It's uh, like the ferryman. Oops, sorry, Hades. And then we got. Love the art on these. Okay, Scorpion King. How about if that looked like The Rock? Remember that? CG monstrosity. From the Scorpion King? Oh, that was that was awful. Okay, so we got these things. I don't know what those are. Now, what's interesting, now I like the asymmetric gameplay, because after I opened up a few of those other boxes, I started getting a sense of like, oh, that's cool how different all these characters are. Because my Ranger, he's got these arrows, and it's like a press your luck thing, where you keep flipping cards, and each card has a number of arrows on it. And if you bust, as in go over seven arrows, because seven is perfect, that's like your 21. If you get that, you get the ultimate ability on the cards. If you bust, then you get the negative stuff, which is all bad. But if you chicken out and you don't go to seven and you just cut off early, you still get something good, but not as good if you if you got right on seven. If you hit 21, well, seven, not 21. 21, you're way bust. Okay, so we got some tiles here. Let's look at these. Oh, I like this environment. I like this. I really like that. I want to play in this river of death that's coming by here. Nice, very nice. Oh, it's, yeah, it's a whole bunch. This must be a whole bunch of. Uh, I gotta get my terminology right now that I've played. Roaming monsters, which are not bosses. But they're badass. We have currently one roaming monster on the board. Uh, R R Arnan Arnan. It's it's. It remember, it's it's close to a girl's name I know. Her now I've forgotten her name. Andrea, Arian Arian. Maybe something like that. I can't remember. But that's the roaming monster that's on the board with us now upstairs. He looks really cool. And um, he's uh, taking a shot at Britney so far. It's, it hasn't done well. He's failed. All right, let's take a look at these. Okay, so those are different levels for that creature. So we're just gonna skim through these. Just, let's just look at the art. Go through those really quick. Now it's cool to understand how these work. So it's kind of like programming. If this, it's like which uh, which event triggers. Is it you know if uh, Amos, what was his name Amon, if Amon is in the same zone as a hero, do this. Otherwise, do this. That's pretty cool. I like that little system. So it sounds very much like programming language. If that, do this. Otherwise, do that. So. If I can, I'd like to toss these guys into the mix. Maybe for the next level. I gotta read the papers, make sure it's not like 
you add these in, you're gonna screw over the base game. Which I don't think so, but because uh, what's great about the game, it seems very much like just easy to continuously add to. You can add just tons and tons of cool content. You know what? Let's see the cards up close. Let's wait. Bring the camera down. Let's look at all these minis and stuff closer. All right, we're all set up. You know, I uh, had a feeling this was gonna be on the long unboxing, and obviously when I stepped away from the table, it was gonna be really long. So I have a brown box open, two brown boxes open, but I'm sure the organizer will go by quick. Um, but now that I know more about the game, there's just gonna be more rambling about me talking about the game. I'm digging it, I'm digging it so far. But it's too early to say, but I, it's too early to say, but since I've played enough Zombie Side, I'm gonna predict that I, I predict that I really, I'm really gonna like it. So let's just zoom through these really quick. Oh, they're pretty. Nymphs figures. That's why they're pretty. They're there to lure us in. Oh, these are our characters. I saw some of these characters in the, um, or we saw some, I guess you saw them with me. The, um, it's a called? It's like that pack where, oh, she, I want to play with her because she looks really cool. She looks like, uh, she looks like a dark elf from World of Warcraft. Um, but there was a bunch of characters in that, uh, that pack that lets you mix, oops, Blood Plague and uh, Massive Darkness. And I saw a bunch of characters there, but since I've never played all the Blood Plague expansions or the Green Horde, I've never played it. I didn't know which characters were from here and which ones were from there, but there was a lot of cool character designs that I was really hoping to get a chance to play with. And now I, I do, I guess they're in, in this box. All right, just had to, took some time to cut some tape off. Let's just separate these layers and just grab them quickly when the time comes. All right, let's just do this layer here. I just noticed I had a bunch of dirt under my fingernails from before the start of the video. I had to take the dogs out and had to clean their paws. And they were a mess. Now that I was a mess, I just I didn't even realize it. I apparently didn't do a good job washing my hands. Um, okay. So this guy looks cool. I'm getting a Cobra La vibe. Have you watched the JoJo movie? You know what I'm talking about. So the gray guy, the gray ones are bad guys. Oh, she. Oh, she's one of the nymphs. She got a snake wrapped around her. I want to get a closer look at Nymphy over here. Like I like the uh, the angel with the brushed helmet on, or the brush helmet. You know, whatever those things are called. I like the snake in our arms. And now we got a bunch of characters we can play with. Assuming these are characters, these are the character colors, right? But that's like a, it's not a character on its own. It looks like a, a sentry gun. Can we play sentry guns? Hmm. Interesting. These can't all be, oh, that's a character. Some of them have got to be like little minions for each character because I can't imagine this thing being something on its own. It's gotta be like a pet to one of the other minis. It's the color for characters, but there doesn't seem to be a lot of um, like cardboard or cards or bits in here for um, characters with fancy abilities. And I say fancy abilities, and I'll explain what I'm talking about in a second. I just want to take a look at this guy. It looks cool. It looks like it's one of those crazy um, vehicles where you sit in the center. I can't remember what they're called. And you ride it. Got some weird ancient robot. He looks neat. Um, but anyways, it's like the everybody. It's a asymp asymmetric, 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 asymmetric gameplay. And all the characters. I cut myself with a knife. Uh, all the characters have uh, at least all the ones I played with so far, or I laid out on the table. I played with. Um, they all have different rules. Like the there's a the wizard has an amulet. The uh, rogue has like a bag of goodies it pulls random chips out of or tokens. I like this rock star. The idea of this rock star just throwing his axe around literally. And it's a guitar. Um, 
But everybody's got like a different gimmick. The Paladin has uh, I can't get him. How, how did you come out of here? How, do, how are you in here? Oh, there you go. Uh, the Paladin has these cool abilities, these tokens that consecrate the ground and give it special abilities. But these guys have nothing extra in their uh, box except for this, these, th these things. So, curious, oh, he looks cool. So he's, is that a fireball on his hand? Something's on fire. Oh, he looks neat too, I like him. I, I like the angels. Oh, oh, this guy looks pretty epic. This girl, this troll thing. Looks like a female character. Oh, she's got like a, a head. Whoa, no. She's got like a head up here on her staff. And it looks like it's biting something, like the teeth are holding this, this thing. She's crazy, I like the little teddy bear with a skull. And she's riding this thing. See, that's his face. And there's arms are like crossed. And he's just hunched over and there's his arms. He's got these blades attached to his hands. She's riding him. Kind of, I get a Tiny Tina vibe from um, Borderlands. He's wearing diapers. Are they loaded? Hmm. I like her. She's my favorite one in this box so far. Got in there. I don't know. This box, actually, the minis in this box are all fantastic. Not surprising, being, you know, Simon. He looks nice. So we get, we're getting to the robot category here. Look at him. He's cool. These guys look all cool. Like, what's going on back here? See how, like, uh, is that supposed to be smoke coming out the back there? I think so. And this guy caught my eye when I back the pack. I gotta do some reading to see how oh yeah, that smoke pumping out of his hindsight. Nice. Okay, so let's put these guys away properly. However properly is. There you go. So, let's grab this tray. A lot of unique different things, and what I, what's very different about this than Zombie Side is there's a, so many more unique villains, and they're a little harder to kill. They fight back better than the zombies, or more, not better, more, because the zombies kind of outnumber you. There's not as much of these guys on the board, they're tough. I say these guys, but I think this is a good guy because he's brown. The bad guys are all gray. He looks cool. And uh, so it's a very different experience from Zombie Side, but a lot of similar gameplay elements and mechanics. Oh, she's cool. That's the one that looks like uh, the World of Warcraft Night Elf or Dark Elf. Blood Elf. It's blood, they're Blood Elves. But I think she looks like a night elf or dark elf. I can't remember. Ah, I can't remember what they're called. No, it's just elves and blood elves. That's all they have. She looks like a blood elf. It took me a while I got there. It's been a while since I played World of Warcraft. I had to stop. I was addicted. It was a problem. I played it for 10 years hardcore. The first 10 years. I got a bunch of collector's packs. Oh. We got some little bits of stuff here. Don't know what that is. It's really noticeable on the 4K camera, but you don't really notice it with the naked eye. To clean that up. Or I won't. We'll see. <laughs> she got a shovel. Oh, she got a head in her hand. The shovel stood out more. Is it in her hand? Is it shoveling it by the hair? Yeah. Not for a second she was holding it inside a plastic bag. No, it's by the hair. I like her hat. 
candles in it? Oh, she got a bunch of heads. She's just a, she's like a grave digger. She digs, she works at night. I'm assuming that's why she has the candles in her head. Oh, dual wielding um, crossbows. I like that. Playing as the ranger, I realized a lot of his powers or weapons that he, at least the weapons I found, the weapons that are good for him are all two-handed. Which is hard for me to play that way because I like dual wielding. Like he can, you can still dual wield with him, but I want to get the, I want to max out his abilities and he seems to work really well with two-handed arrows or bow and arrows. Okay, so now we're against the gritty guys. This is a bunch of her. One of the nymphs. She's also, she got like, looks like a, is that a bow and arrow? I thought it was a harp at first. It's a harp? It is a harp. She got a harp and a snake. She got like flowers in her hair. I like that there's these like, pretty ladies in this hellscape. Like, alongside these guys. He looks like he's rocking out to some heart music. I like his pose. Oh, I don't know what happened there. But I like his pose. It looks like he's striking a pose. A marvelous. Alright. So there's a bunch of those guys and a bunch of her. So I have the game currently on the table upstairs, so I'm definitely going to be playing today. Alright, let's pull these guys out. This is the smallest guy of the great guys. Oh, I like him. I like this guy. He's tiny. But I like the, uh, the furry demon with the uh, demon wings on his head. I like those demon wings on his head. He's the smallest one here, so we're definitely gonna have to yeah, zoom out for a lot of these guys. But then at the same time, I wanna zoom in so I can see some of the detail on these. She looks great. That's such a powerful pose. Even the way she's like straddling the horse. Legs back, she looks like going for action. She got some Flames coming out of the back. Is that a flame or a ro it's a, sorry, cape coming out of her back? Detail on the horse looks amazing. Love the wings. So I guess it's like a Pegasus. Great silhouette. Let's see what so you can kind of get a good picture of the whole thing. That's a great looking mini. She's really cool. This might be the favorite, my favorite one in the box so far. So far, I think that might be my favorite. I really like that one. Um, mind you, all the minis with the big wings, I have trouble putting them back from this perspective. If I was looking down in the box like a normal person, I could see it, but I'm trying to like reach out there and see over the edge. It's not working out for me. Hey, you know what? This like head with a bunch of legs. <laughs> There's. Uh, I've never seen one of these, and I feel like they're showing up now. Uh, I saw a movie or a show or something. They were flipping through a book, and there was a creature that looked like this, similar. It's like a, a griffin. This is very World of Warcraft. I'm gonna ride these things. It's, the, it's like the alliance mounts, right? Or not mounts, but the, uh, what are they called? Things you travel with. Little flight paths. It looks really cool. I love that. Armored animals, wings, I like it. Digging, it's kind of being like. <laughs> All the wings are getting caught on each other. There's so many creatures with wings. Oh, we're gonna get a close up on him because I wanna know what's going on with the shoulders. 
I'm assuming those heads are dead. They're like ornamental. I don't think he's actually got a like three heads. So let's see. I think I'll have to refer to the art. Maybe he does have three heads. One's like human, demon-esque, and the other one's a horse, and the other one's a, a goat. Those abs remind me of that. I'm starting to go, I'm gonna go back to the gym starting tomorrow. Finally got myself a gym partner, which has been hard recently to find a gym partner because of lockdown, everybody's canceled their gym memberships and nobody wants to sign up again. Like, I can go by myself, but I'd rather not. Okay, how about this? I'm getting, oh, what is it? Oh, um, Venger. I think, was that his name? From uh, the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon? This is the kind of vibes I'm getting from this guy. I think it's because he had one horn too. I like him. Don't care what his name is, that's what I'm gonna call him. If that's his name, I'll have to do some work. And then, we're getting big. Look at that. Let's zoom out so we can see this. Look at that beauty. Oh, that's that guy. It's the Scorpion King. Ow, I just stabbed myself. Can I... Oh, I love that. How's that even gonna fit on the board? Are you a boss? Because he looks bigger than a tile. Definitely don't want to get near those pin pincers. He's, you know what, he's heavily armored. Like, that's it's large. Like, my thumb fits in there easy. Let's get a look at his face. He's cool looking. I like him. Feels hefty. I like me a hefty mini. Where do you go? Where do you go? This guy has, I wonder if he's fragile, because he's got like some more extra foam bit to back him up. Oh, he looks epic. You win best mini in the box. Look at this, holy crap. I think I forgot how good Simon could get. This is epic. Holy crap, we're gonna get close to this guy. That looks awesome. Look at all like the souls. They're all like interming or mingled in or intertwined with his with his robe. Like you don't know where one starts. Like he's oh, it's like they're just pouring out of him at the base of his robe. And look at that badass look on his face. And look at his abs. Holy crap! Does not miss bad day. Is fit. He looks awesome. Wow, that is okay. That that might be my favorite mini in the set so far. I love the way that looks. A gorgeous freaking mini. And then nothing else is gonna compare to that. I should look at that last. Like this is cool, but. I mean, like, yeah, on a boat. This is like the, uh, what's it called? The Ferryman? It's got a real name in this game, but. I like how it's riding this boat across. And you got, like, the souls, like, clawing at it. Every time I see, like, souls, or lost souls coming out of water, I always think of Harry Potter in that, that cave. I don't know what it's called, but it's probably something like the Cave of Lost Souls or something like that where the Horcrux was, where him and uh, Harry and eh, Dumbledore went on a field trip. Oh, that looks really cool too though. Oh, look at that guy at the bottom. He's trying, he's trying. This is the kind of guy that gets picked last for the team. What is he doing down there? It's really nice though. Pretty nice mini, but should have looked at you before. Okay, that was all the minis in that box. Let's get to another one. 
This is a nice box of minis. Mm -hmm. That was a good box of winning, actually. Earn back some points. All right. Let's get to these little guys again. So we've got Massive Darkness 2, Gates of Hell. Da da da. All right. So we these Gates of Hell. Let's check out some minis. And straight from hell to your YouTube channel. Or YouTube, that channel, you know, page. To the channel you're watching, because technically it's my channel, you know. It's rambling now. Let's take a look at that box. I think the artwork. Looking forward to seeing that dog mini. Alright, let's see. You know, you wouldn't see something like that on the road and say, well, that's a dog. You'd probably just run away screaming. But you see them in drawing like this, and you're like, wow, it's a funny looking dog. All right. Let's check out some roaming monsters. Look at me throwing around the terms. I think I know what I'm talking about. Watch back the video and be like, oh, I'm an idiot. Those weren't roaming monsters or something else. Oh. Cerberus. I've seen you in other movies, and even this little Scooby Doo movie I saw. We had Cerberus. Hey, that's all you're gonna get there. So, um, I'm guessing it's definitely your only monster that we're gonna get in this pack. Let's check out our mobs. Shadow demons. I like the art on that actually. I like. I say actually. I like the art on all of them, but living statues. Can't help but notice. Level 10. Level, there's more levels. Level 6 to 7? How, how long has that been happening? Because it stopped at level 5 originally. But now we got level 10, 8 to 9. Yeah, 6 to 7. There's 5. Ooh, snap! Cool. What's good about getting extra levels is that it'll give us more opportunity to like level up our characters, which is fun to do. And uh, the first level goes by pretty quick. I guess those are its three heads. The first level goes by pretty quick and, um, or is going by pretty quick. And we're not gonna get to like pretty high level and there's a lot of it, you know, before we finish it. But it's just kind of ramping you up. But we're not gonna, we're not gonna get through like using our, I don't think you're ever meant to unlock everything your character can do in one, in one scenario. So, I do believe that, you know, it's intended to play with characters over and over again, try different builds, um, which I'm, I'm totally cool with. Uh, I like the variety of that. But if we can go up to level 10 now, or if games are going to last that long, then there's going to be a lot more opportunity to level up your character and do more with it. And that, I'm looking forward to. Okay, let's check out the big puppy. He would look cool painted because we're missing that like burry chest. Cause you know it's supposed to be like fiery hot energy pumping out of there. Oh, that's, I have two dogs, so I'm gonna name this head Millie and this one Hitch. Uh, maybe I'll name that one Bishop. That was my dog from the past. From another life. Oh, it's those shadow guys, I already forgot they're called. Gotta give credit to the minis that they're uh, the very recognizable with the art. Which is, um, thinking back of like we're, like before we had Simon creating these awesome minis. We had like, uh, you know, Hero Quest was the best we had at the time. And they're great for the time, but they don't hold up anymore. 
come a long way. It looks really cool. And uh, here is his minions. For here are his minions. Okay. Now, the way this works is when you put out um, a mob, it consists of a leader, which I believe in the beginning of the video, I did say, I think these are like little leaders to these little guys. I was right. So this would be the minion to the shadow leader. And then the amount of minions you put is based on how many players. So since me and Brittany are playing, we always put one leader and then two minions. Which increases, you know, how, how tough they are. Nice and neat. And if there's no, um, if there's no extra rule books, well then I'm assuming... I can just add those into the game, to the base game, no problem. All right, let's stick you over there. Now we're gonna open up Massive Darkness 2, War of Souls. Oh no! Oh, I cut some of the paper. Not the box, not the box. It's got that, you know, extra piece of paper. I'm, sh I'm assuming it's due to localization. This thing. Cut it a little bit, a little bit. All right, so let's check out this box. It's actually, I haven't seen the, no, it's the box myself. Oh, I like it. I like that. War of Souls, I'm digging that. It's an enemy box, okay. I'm not doing the unlitting on these guys, they're so, the boxes are really light, lids are kind of having a hard time to come off. So all these lids are like ones. If I had to score them, they're too hard to come off. You need a good weight, weighted thing to come off. Not hard to come off. They don't give you that enjoyable weight. They come off rather easy. They're lids. I'm really looking like, too much into it. All right, let's check out some roaming monsters. What levels do we go up to here? Okay, we're going up to 10 again. Oh, I was like, she looks like a banshee, and she is exactly what she is, a banshee. Okay, so let's go through those quick so you can see their abilities. Now, I think I was skipped through some the other day because I didn't know the big deal, but yeah, there's that text there that's different if you want to know how they level up. But, to be honest, if I slow down for all of them, this would be a, I have to record this in four parts. So, we can just go through these quickly. Storm Elementals. Hmm. I like those wraiths. I don't know what about that card. I like it. Okay, and then we got... It's got some extra stuff going on here. I'm really, like... This game is like exploding with cool stuff. I'm really interested to see how that organizer works, which is one of the boxes that I have to open. So um, I think I'm gonna need it. Some banshee tokens. There's no rules in this box, so I'm assuming when there's no rules that there's not much to it. It's just like add the cards and read any text on the cards. I like the simplicity of that. Here we got here. A wraith. This other box is kind of interfering with that. Okay, it's a cool looking wraith. There's a bunch of those. these. I want to say a bunch. There's, uh, so far I think of all the minions, there's been six. If not for all of them, for most of them. Because you can have up to six max, because you can have six players. And the amount of minions based on players. Unlike Zombie Side, where you always play with six players. And that's one thing I didn't know. I assumed this was going to be like Zombie Side, where I play with everybody. But being that they're asymmetric, it makes sense that you don't play with everybody. Because there are some differences in the characters in Zombie Side, but not as much. 
like these guys, some guys play completely different. Okay, there's the leader for the, uh, I forgot what the storm guys are called. But they're cool, they're like little tornadoes throwing lightning bolts. Like wind elementals, or I don't know what they're called, I need to know. What are they called? What's them here? Storm elementals. Those are, those are far off. Oh, the banshee looks neat. I love the uh, the swirl she's riding here, like swirl of energy or whatever. Looks really good. Well, she does have legs. Just blend it right in there. Love her hair. Okay, so that was all the minis for that box. That was it for those. Now, all we got is these tiles to look through. The Kickstarter upgrade pack, one rule book, three boss, and it says, here, let's look at this. It says this comes with one rule book, oh, shaking the camera. One rule book, three boss dashboards, 30 campaign cards, 246 roaming monster cards. Really? 72 mob cards and 21 hero cards. What? <laughs> That's crazy. Is that where all the stuff, no, is that where all the stuff for like that comes with that box goes? I don't know what's happening. Where are the, what? I'm just Kickstarter upgrade pack. Upgrade pack. Okay, well let's just open it. Why are we, why are we guessing? Let's just open it. Um, what did I get with this? I don't, I don't know. I don't read the details on the all-in. I glance through, and uh, I like being surprised. So I don't know. I don't know. Come here. Yeah. Okay, let's show the art on this. Dig it. Dig it. Dig it. Dig it. Nice. You know, I give you a better shot of this. Found this dark bringer pack that's in there. So I just that would that was gonna be lost forever. Let's let me put this away for you. That happens. I completely forgot to put that away. There you go. Okay, let's see what's in here. I thought this was just gonna be tiles like that other pack, but it's not. I don't want to see. Well, I do want to see, but I don't want to see that way. I want to experience it. How do you open this? I don't want to ruin this box. It's a nice box. Let's see the top here. Alright. There you go. Alright. So we got a bunch of stuff. Nice. Okay, so we got a bunch of new quests. Scenarios. Cool. Any boss cards? Have we seen these bosses? Have we seen someone looks like an elephant? Maybe. It's been too long since we've opened up those other boxes. Oh, he's double sided. We've seen them. I don't remember them. But yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. I'm guessing this goes with the massive darkness something, something? This goes with one of the other boxes, but I don't know which one. It's been a lot of minis. And we have a whole other brown box though. Maybe it's in there. Okay, these are double-sided. Yeah, they do different things too. Here it says, for each wound, you take, gain one magic, one mana. This one says combat, take one wound, and you get to re-roll, re-roll, one die. I can't say re-roll, re-roll. And his health is six here, and his mana is three there. Okay, so there's quite a bit of differences here. The differences, I can't speak today. Okay, well, there's a bunch. So we're gonna whip through this quickly, as quickly as we can. 
I don't know what to do here. Um, those guys are facing the other way, so let's just leave them separate. Okay. So, let's go through these fast. You can pause. Oh, she looks cool. I thought she was breathing fire. She's not. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Interesting look. Oh, I guess they go together. Let me flip those over so you can see the other stats. for those guys. Alright. Right here. I like there's different art on the back. Well hello there. You don't look like you're properly dressed to go to the bowels of hell. He does. Oh, so does this guy. He's ready to go. Like, you notice there's these, like, male-female versions. Are they the same? No, nope, they're different. Hmm. Character designs are great. We've seen her, yeah. So I couldn't remember which side we saw. The reason I'm showing you both sides, I know this side has the art because sometimes some of the art gets cut off and you see more on one side or the other. Okay, so that's those. There's a bunch of mobs. And uh, we're just going to skip through, skim through them a bit. And you don't see every level of every mob. So let's So much. There's a lot of cards in here. All right. Same thing. We'll just skim through these because there's a lot. I seen a unicorn. No, it's probably give you a good idea of how bad my memory is. Like it's only been two days since I opened this, the first under path, and it's possible that some of these were in the box I just opened. But I do not recall a unicorn. There's got to be a box with some crazy minis in it somewhere. Yeah, let's just skim through these. But I'm digging the unicorn. Sad thing is the minis not gonna have any color. I want that mini painted. And I want the, like, some cool, there's gotta be some cool painty effect, painterly effect to really make it. What's that? What is that like a rat? Yeah, it's, it's a rattling agent. They're all agents of some sort. Okay. There's a lot of content here. Holy crap, me and Brett are going to be playing this forever. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Give me variety. You know, you, you gotta hand it to uh, Simon. They, they don't skimp on, like, content. I mean, I heard people say, like, yeah, they're their Kickstarters can get pricey, then they definitely can. But look how much stuff you get. It's not just minis, there's a lot of like gameplay thought, just the amount of art that goes on all these cards. There's a lot of work that goes into these things. So 
I've never had really any complaints about what I've gotten for my money when it comes to C1. And I have sent them a message, I don't know if you saw the other video, oh, sorry, this video, earlier in the video, where I opened up one of the 3D terrain packs and I had two bear traps missing. I did send, did send a message to the people who handle that part of it, kind of thing, and hopefully I'll get my bear traps. I'll go back, I really like this guy. What am I looking at here? Oh, okay. It's an air elemental. So we got a bunch of elementals here. Ooh, the water elemental looks cool. They all look cool. This guy's buff. Okay. okay. This guy's got a lot of stuff going on in this card. This is why I have, I was wondering, because I started sleeving, I've sleeved everything that came out of the core box. Because I got a box of sleeves, I sleeved it all. Didn't take that long, actually. So, me and Xavier were watching some cartoons, and I, I did some sleeving. But I had so many of these big sleeves, and I was like, how many roaming monsters could there possibly be in the boxes I'm about to open? Well, I guess this answers my question. There's a lot of cards. Well, each one gets one, two, three, four, five, six, six cards. Now that we're going to level 10. So, that's quite a bit. Let's open these guys. And I don't think there's much to see here. Campaign card. Campaign. Can I make this into like an actual campaign? Cause see, when I look at, like I know you could play the stories in order, but when I think of a campaign, I imagine like being able to carry weapons and XP from one level to the next. And maybe that's something I can do. Maybe that's why I can go to level 10. Is that a thing I can do now? Sorry, I'm gonna take some more extra time. Cause these are fairly different cards. I'm not gonna look through all of them. Oh hell, let's do, go, let's go look through all of them. We'll go quick. Wait, that makes sense. Well, some of these are small. Do I get a like the small character cards? Don't know what to do with these. Are they items? Like, are they? understand how that works. There's gameplay here that I do not know. But I am raring to find out. Oh yeah, I'm ready. Is there a new rule book? This this box has got me more, more when I first opened it I was like, okay, this is a bunch of characters, that'd be cool. But looking at this this campaign deck, this little tiny pack of cards has got me the most interested. And now I'm afraid to put this away because if I put this away incorrectly, these cards are all going to mix together. And it's going to be a disaster. I need to sleeve them and put them away properly. Ah, organization box. That's where that's going to come in for sure. <laughs> it's going to come in handy for sure. Okay, so I'm not going to even try to slip, slide this in here right now because I feel like if I do, the cards are just going to get all messed up. So. Slide that over there very quietly and carefully. All right, what do we got here? So this, okay. 
Okay. This says 15 tiles and a new campaign to play with them. To play them with. To play with them. It's, ugh. <laughs> this is, I'm glancing at things as I'm reading it and trying to figure out how to stab my knife into this plastic. Okay. Let's pull these tiles up and check out what we have here. This guy goes in the bottom. Just to keep things done nice and organized. Okay, so we've got our rule book here. Forgive the glare. Uh, or scenario book. Okay, that's not English. So this is multilingual. That's where it stops. Okay. All right. Oh yeah. There's the English and French. Gotcha. All right. Let's go through these. There you go. By raising the camera up, I can do this. Then we lay both sides at once. Love all the little details on the rooms. How this looks, it's great. Ooh, some cult stuff going on in there. Mind you, we are in the house. Is that a giant rat? What is that? Ugh. We're in a hellscape, so. Not surprising. Looks like you've got some cracks in your foundation. It's gonna cost you. Yeah. Okay, that was it. That was everything in the first brown box. Holy crap. Not, it was it was amazing, but holy stuff. So much stuff. Holy crap. All right, so let's put this away without damaging absolutely everything. You can get in there. Yeah, there you go. Come on. You got this. You got this. You, you. Is I did it. Got the rule book in there. You're not gonna go back in. Okay. Ugh. Woo! Was a lot. Was a lot. All right, but we're not done yet. The thing is, we had a whole other box. The box we started with was like slightly bigger than this. This looks like so much. Let's do it. Let's just commit. Let's do it. Thanks for joining us. If you like this video and you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. It's the best way to keep up to date with everything we do here at Board Game Coffee. But if you want to see more right now, we got plenty of videos to choose from. And if that's not enough, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm Mark Maya, and this is Board Game Coffee. And remember, have fun, keep gaming, be social. See you next week.